Hi guys, this is Bill from Media Unlocked and we're back at 3O Studios and today we've got the Canon EOS R mirrorless camera. I want to give you a good walkthrough on it today. We're going to look at all of the features of the camera. We're going to talk about the kind of things that we leave on the default settings where we can change things and where you can customize this to be exactly the camera that you're looking for. So I want to start off by looking at the front of the camera today. Right here, this of course is the shutter button. Right over here, you've got the focus assist. This comes on in very low light focusing. Over here on the side, of course, this is where your lens release is. Lens release is just like any other Canon, just like that, and comes right out. In the inside fun, put it back together, looks just like that. Let's take a look at the lens for just a minute, since we're here. Lens stabilization. Auto versus manual focus. But one thing I do want to point out, this lens has a lock feature right here. This is the zoom feature. So once you lock it, this zoom ring doesn't change. Really good if you're shooting out on a tripod, for example. One thing to show you that's different with this camera than any other Canon, this is the adjustable ring on the lens. You can program this for anything, and we'll talk about that in another video. But this lens has a texture difference from these and here to give you something to focus your fingers on as you're working through the camera. That's pretty much the front of the camera. So let's shift over to the top. So this is the top of the camera. I'm going to start here on the left and move over to the right. This is something that most people kind of ignore, and I wanted to point it out to you. This is where the focal plane of the sensor is. So if you're doing macro photography, for example, and you need to really know where the focal point, focal plane is, it's right there. Gives you a really good idea. This is the on-off switch. It is a dial to rotate. The camera's on, camera off. Standard hot shoe connection right here, of course. Moving over to the right-hand side of the camera at this point, there is your multifunction button that assists you in the programming and customizing. You've got dial wheel here that allows you to change your shutter speed when you're basically on manual mode. You've got video record button, so when you shift over to video recording, you just hit that right there. There is your lock button. Lock locks the program key so that you can't change your mode without turning the lock off. This button right here is the background light. It also shifts the information that you have on the screen. This little screen is very useful to you. You can customize it to have exactly the features that you want to see. So that when you look down at the top, it gives you only what you're looking for. It's easier to see. It's really a cool feature. Your mode button, of course, allows you to rotate between all of your various photographic modes from fully manual to fully automatic, exactly what you're looking for. Let's take a look at the bottom. There's your tripod mount. When you buy a battery grip, this is where you'll plug it in at. This is your battery door. Pop that open, open that, and your battery just slides out. Really good feature to know, there's your serial number. If you ever have to record this for your insurance, or for sending back for some reason, that's where you're going to look to get it at. If we go to the side of the camera, this is for your remote control. You have a microphone and headphone port, HDMI port, and a USB 3 port right up under this particular little cover. All of these, of course, work just like any other basic dust cover. Okay, so now let's go over to the other side. Only thing over here is for your SD card. Works just like any other Canon SD card slot. Now we'll take a look at the back of the camera. Your menu button right here. This calls up all of the menu options that you're going to be using. This is the diopter. Now, a lot of people don't realize that cameras have diopters, but if you wear eyeglasses, if you want to shoot without your glasses, this diopter allows you to adjust your viewfinder focus so that it's easier for you to see what is going on in your viewfinder. This is the sensor, the proximity sensor, for the viewfinder. As you move from the live view, which we have it activated on right now, 
to looking through the viewfinder. As you get closer, the viewfinder comes on, the live view turns off. That gives you the ability to use the viewfinder. Just remember, it's right there. Okay, looking at the right-hand side, you've got the taskbar right up here. Now this is a touch button. It doesn't have a slider, it's just a touch sensitive button. Right now, it has no function whatsoever. You have to customize it for something. A lot of people use that to customize for their ISO. A lot of people will use it for exposure compensation. You can program that for anything. You have your AF on button right over here. This is programmable most likely for your back button focus. If you like back button, I do. Some people don't. The star button here is just one that is open and customizable for anything that you like. All you have to do is program it and you can get it. This feature here, this button that has a screen on it, is part of the magnification system so that when you call up your image to take a look at it, you can hit this and it pops up a little bit closer. Same thing, by the way, you can use the touch screen and just simply blow it up that way. Down here on the bottom, you've got an info button. I really like the info button as a feature. It basically activates the in-camera user's guide. As you go through the menu system, you'll find that some of the alternatives have an info. Just hit that button or hit the touch screen to call it up and it will tell you what your options are and what they mean. Down here at the very bottom, you have two buttons side by side. The left one is for your playback. You hit that to call up the last image or the video. Your right button is the delete key. I never use that one because sometimes that can mess up your SD card. The Q set button here in the middle has, if you're shooting, you hit it and it gives you access to the quick menus. Basically that activates the quick menus on the screen so that you can just touch them to change anything you're looking for. I find that most useful for the non dial features such as white balance or something like that. The area around the quick and set button is a joypad. Go left, up, down, or right. One other feature to discuss with the camera on the back is the fully articulating screen. I really like this. If you're a vlogger, if you just want to set the camera down or shoot over your head, it allows you to use the screen for live view. You can close it up just like that. You guys have made it this far. If you want to check out our newest video, it will be right here. If you want to check out the product, it will be down here. If you do happen to click on it and purchase it, it does give us a little bit of commission and that helps me a lot keep making these videos. And of course, guys, right down below, go and leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, follow along. We'll catch you next time.